Good morning everybody. Today I'm doing a challenge started by Nikki Tutorials. It is the Google Pick My Makeup Look. I feel like I lucked out and for this challenge you type your first initial and your last initial of your first and last name or the first initial of your first and last name followed by look. And these aren't makeup looks, they're just a picture, and you have to um, create a look using the picture. I feel like I really lucked out, because <laughs> this is very easy to translate onto a face. So, I don't know if you'll see, I grabbed my iPad, because I can't insert pictures, I'm just not that cool. There's a glare on it, but if you can see, it's black and white, grays reds, browns, so I was able to do my red for my lips and my um, brown for my brows and my uh, contour and the red again for my blush. So for my eyes, I'm going to go with grays and blacks, just like the picture right there. So I'm able to use this smoky palette. Like I said, I feel like I like that on this challenge. A lot of people are going to type in their name and be like, meh. Like, if, check out Nikki's video. I think she did an excellent job incorporating what she got for her colors. She got, uh, or, well, had to use for her colors from her picture. She had a picture of three houses, and they were uh, pastel blue, pastel yellow, and um, pastel pink and she was like well the road's black so I got I can do that <laughs> it was funny just look up Nikki tutorial uh, if you don't know who Nikki tutorial is you should she's amazing where did I just put this new brush I just got a new brush from um my ipsy bag I got this eyeliner too which we're going to use but I just have my new brush I think I accidentally just was like okay I'll put my new brush away because that's just how I am so now I got a brand new brush that I wanted to try and use <sighs> let's mix it in with all my brushes so we'll just I'm a hot mess, don't worry about it. I'm going to go in with this gray right here, which is called Password. And I'm going to kind of look at the cat laying behind me and go, there's a cat behind me. Just kind of all over my lid with it. Mm. I already primed my eye and I already, uh, what's that called? Primed my eye and got a uh, skin color, close to my skin color, powder over it so I can blend out better. I love these cats. They're so good to me. Ah, JD. Like, how can you have a bad day, come home, and have your cat, like, just totally change your, your mood for the day. Like, that's just... She's, like, inching her way closer and closer and closer to me right now. 
She started like way, oh, way that way, Jada. And she slowly cat crawling. Cat crawling. Some big changes are happening. And I'm excited about it. We'll talk about them more. I got a lot of things in the works. And I'm just super excited. This is all going to be great. And good things and lead to a happier me. Not that I'm not like the most part happy right now but there's just you know life there's just life so I'm gonna go in with this darker darker gray almost black well you know what actually I'm gonna go in with dark dagger I didn't realize that is supposed to be black it's just a more of a gray. It's called Black Dagger. So I'm going to start with Dagger first, which is this one right here, and then I'll go in with this. Oh gosh, I guess I was just looking at the wrong one, because now when I look... Mm. Squirrel friend. Squirrel friend. Okay. I'm petting a cat right now. Don't mind me. If you did mind me petting my cat, then... <laughs> How rude. I'm gonna put that on my outer corner. I look like a beautiful clothing model on my eyes. Fashion model. I don't know. What would you like to call her? A not me. She got the house. I didn't. She's a not me. Or I'm a not her. I don't know. I guess that she got the house. I'm a not her. Bitch. Just go into the outer corner on this eye again with the same uh, color dagger. Like I said, I think I really lucked out with these colors. I'm like, Oh yeah, I could do so many things. And here I go, just doing smoky eye. Well, I'm gonna call it the daytime smoky eye. You'll see why in a minute. I'm gonna take my finger brush and then just kind of tap this color on the lid just on the lid. Ooh, sparkles. It's amazing, like, what, like, simple things like that, like, how they just can alter a whole look. Alright, so now I'm going to take uh, the smudgy smudger brush, and I'm going to go in with the black market color. Just kind of do one of these motions with my brush, like I'm not uh, just kind of tapping it into the palette. And then I'm going to go under my lash line. Take the fluffier side and just kind of smirk it out. And then bring it.
her so much. Did you get your paw stuck? Oh, she got it. She's still trying to figure out. She's going back, trying to figure out how to get under there. I love you, milkshake. That's what I mean. Like, how can you just, how can you be sad at that? Like, like, how can you just be like, I'm so mad, I'm angry. You have a kitty like that. Like, I don't know. People who don't like animals or aren't pet people, I don't think they realize, like, I mean, I get it. Some people are traveling, but there's always that great companion that can come with you. We've all seen those videos. I think it's all about you have to find your companion. So it's going to be that one animal. I mean, there's also people who are allergic. I mean, I get that. but I mean, just sitting here, she's just she's being a goof, and I love her. She's literally sitting and staring, trying to figure out how to get under there. Oh, now she's looking out the window, but there she goes. You can do it, milkshake. You got this. kitchen. Just loving kitchen life. Oh, oh man, she just face planted right into the blanket. She's like, poof. I love you so much, milkshake. I do. <laughs> okay, I gotta get back to, no, I just love her. She's such a goofy cat. And I mean it in the best kind of goofy you can be. Just kind of adding a little bit of pop of that shimmer that we put here under the brow bone and in the inner corner. I'm starting to learn my corners. I'm so proud of myself. So, this is the, what's that called? Eyeliner that I got in the mail. Or in the hip shop bag. I also got this lip, lip gloss and a leave in conditioner, which I love this when I get this one. I got a face mask. I gotta try. And we're also gonna try the mascara I got. But this, I've been seeing so many people use this. And I'm like, I wanna get that. I won't get it right now though. Girl, I'm so happy. I'm so happy about a star stamp eyeliner. Although, I had to say, I don't know if I feel the eyeliner, it's so thick. This is the first time I'm using this, so I. I don't know if I like it yet or not. It's just thicker than I'm used to, like the pen part. So I want to like hold it in a certain way and I can't, but I mean. Like, you see me, I'm like, ha, ah. ha, have to be extra careful. 
not going to be the same angle that I normally hold it at. It's weird how like slight differences can make a big difference. I'm sorry, I'm blocking like something fierce, but it's like... Ugh. I think it's a great liner. Like, it in itself, I just had to figure out my hand position for something a little bit bulkier to give myself the same angle that I'm used to. Which is fine. I mean, it's it's just a curve of a curve of learning. It's just a learning curve. It's definitely a different, um, liner, but I think once I get used to how thick it is, it won't be a problem. I know I keep repeating that, but I, like, the liner itself is definitely not bad. At least right now, in this opinion. I don't know if it's gonna be a crackly one. how long it's gonna last and because I can because I've always wanted to do this I got a star <sighs> okay so in high school I loved Sully from Godsmack and well I'm happy now. All right, that's all I gotta say. <laughs> that's a chubby little wand and a thick little bristle. Like you can't sit this up anywhere. I guess I'm gonna have to hold it. All right, so let's see how this stuff works here. I don't know anything about it. I don't know if it's a waterproof. I don't know if it's... I'm going to put it on my eye. I'll look it up later, I guess. I didn't even read the tube. I'm just like, cool. Mascara. Like, I didn't read the tube so much that when I got it, I just opened it and I opened it. What is going to be inside this little guy? He's so cute. And I opened it and I'm like, oh, mascara. Y'all know my samples were running low. I mean, I have full size of other things, but I fell in love with the samples of something else that I had, and oh my god. Now they're empty. Let's see. See how I feel about this one. I think it like kind of okay. I didn't curl my lashes this morning. Kind of, when, especially when I'm trying a new mascara, I kind of like to see what it can do with its own self. You know what I mean? Like, it, oh, punk volumizer mascara. 
So am I going to be a punk the rest of the day? Hmm. I mean, it's a possibility. We'll have to find out. I could be a punk the rest of the day. Can you see it? Can you see it? I don't know if you can. Being weird. Trying to block the glare, but I can't. You just can't. You guys can't read it. You guys. Okay. So let me open this up again. I don't know. This was the image that I had. And sorry about the glare. What I'm going to do is I'll post a picture of it. So it's grays, blacks, EL look. And that's exactly what it says. It says EL look. I'm like, hey, hey, hey. You can see it in my search bar. EL look. Okay, now we're going to EL online or LA or whatever. We don't need to do that. So this is the finished look. With my stamp. And I'm going to be a punk the rest of the day. And you're going to have to deal with it. Mmm, no. Okay, love you all. Bye.